you've obviously gotten off to a good start and every week we, we ask you about you know things that go well things that, that don't go well do you have any feel for how good this team is i mean how much room there is to improve how good are you do you, do you know that stuff yet oh, we, can, we can improve in a lot of ways i think that showed itself um really the last couple games we, we've got plenty to clean up that's for sure but what what you you know what you're pleased is that you still find a way and that's what good teams can do and um you know uh, from and i say clean up that's on them that's coaching that's that's everything that that we're doing and that's what's exciting because um you know we haven't kind of hit the you know what you can be but uh, as we know uh, this is the biggest challenge so far and, and many different ways, so it's it'll be another good measuring stick, that's for sure. Challenge got tougher. Is any update on Daniel? Hi, Shaw. Um, yeah, he'll be out for an extended period of time. Um, I don't have specifics yet, but um, that that's probably the best I can give you at this time. But he, he seems to be in decent spirits and um, considering everything. And, yeah, I'll let you know more as we go along. Okay, you, you had mentioned you were hoping to see him Saturday night. Did you? Yes. Were you able to do yeah, that? Yeah, I was able to see him at the hospital. Okay. And, and he was um, doing a lot better than I could have expected. Um, telling me to stop there. Our training staff, medical staff, did an outstanding job, um, as well as people at the hospital. Uh, his father was there and his uncle. Um, you know, you get a lot of people there and there's things like that. In fact, he was getting ready to be discharged. And so, I mean, considering all that was, um, um, you know, some of our team doctors were coming in. So um, we kind of made sure everything was there. Everything was arranged for him and his family for the evening. And, uh, you know, then let those people do their job. What, wonder what the position looks like without him. Um, does it have to... Be adjusted, and, and also Kai's availability this week. Yeah, you know Kai's been practicing more, and we sure hope he is. Um, you know, I thought Kai had a good day today, um, but he's kind of in a day-to-day -day type mentality, and so um, we get into uh, you know it's Devin and, and Sevian, and you know you know Tories, and you know has played in games, so it's. Uh, you know, it's, that's what we have available. We're, we talked about the depth of that position, and we can't let one right now, but you're halfway getting to the halfway point, and you know, the body isn't the same, so we've got to make sure. And, and, and we've been utilizing a lot of people offensively, and we've got to find a way to keep doing that. Last one real quick. Uh, I wonder what you see when you look at TCU's quarterback, Max Duggan. He was playing really, really well. But I was impressed with him last year. I, I really was. Um, you know, in, in just about, what, about 75% of his passes in a lot of different ways. Um, they utilize him in, in the run game, which makes it even more difficult. Um, bigger body, a physical runner, but deceptively fast, and he showed that in his long run. Um, you know, uh, safety thought he had an angle on him, and, and he outran the angle, and that, that was impressive. That, that really, you know, but I would say, much like we think of Jalen, but, you know, but that's a different body type, but he, okay, he can run, and, you know, he's not afraid to put his shoulder down and run over you, and he's gonna outrun you, he's making the quick throws very well, he can throw the deep ball, he's got a great set of receivers, you know, it's gonna be a challenge, he's, but, I think he's gotten off to a great, great start and um, since he's taken over the position and um, Coach Dice has done a great job in, in that system utilizing his talents. Obviously Daniel was off to a great start this season. What do you feel like the running back room and offense as a whole will miss one stance? Well, you could see the different things he gave us. He gave us, you know, he had good speed. He showed himself as a receiver, but I, I think his running style and physicality is, is one, you know, he was, Probably one that um, you know separated himself. I thought he had a couple of runs Saturday. Um, yeah, it's you know, and and again, there's different styles there that all complement each other. Now you got one piece of that that group that's going to be missing, unfortunately. 
Gavin Potter wasn't with the team on mm -hmm. Saturday. Um, yeah, yeah what, conversations, the program. what conversations did you have? With there him? wasn't no, a lot. I think it was, he was decided that, uh, you know, he was going to, uh, wanted to redshirt mm -hmm. that's, and, and then move on. So, um, you know, unfortunate that's, um, because of the way things are set up today, those are happening across the country. And that's um, disappointing and, uh, you know, but uh, not, or, not always surprising either. And how do you feel like the drop of the linebacker depth uh, along this season, how do you feel like that group kind of responded in the second Very well, very well. I thought Eric Gilliard and Lorenzo McCaskill played their most, probably their most collectively, and I thought both of them played well. I think we still have, between our sub packages, I, I think we've got a lot of flexibility that Taiwan and um, Rich can go outside and play and have done it before. Um, if Craig needs help and, and Lorenzo and, and uh, Eric are, are, I think, are two of our most physical linebackers in the inside. Um, and uh, again, there's, uh, there's depth and competition, and, and we've talked about that. And the